morning youtubers so today is manic monday and we've got a couple of jobs on we've got two recoveries stafford local and we've got a tire job pending when she's got a tire size but she wanted to guarantee her slot so she's already paid her call out fee but i've said you do need to, need to pay the tire um and she said yes yeah, fine so cool so got two recoveries one is a honda jazz another one is an mg zr they are both transit territory but for terms of speed i could do going in this in the nissan navara but you know what for youtube uh we'll go in the transit so just going to get this one out now show you a couple of quick local recoveries on the transit and then we'll be out in the original mobile tire van um small little update um i have ordered a new engine it's expensive so yeah very soon you're gonna be back on the road baby very soon uh that's it to be honest for this morning um yeah engine for transit is being delivered tomorrow uh, my mate richard rab autos hopton garage has said he will start it on thursday me being me come on rich come on i want it i want it back for saturday i need it back for the weekend because obviously both tire vans will be out in full force so saturday is what i want i need it back for saturday at some stage whether it be morning or early evening i don't care i want it back saturday so right gonna shoot we've got lots to do today the jeep as well the jeep as well obviously this video i think has now been released well it will be by the time i do this manic monday so gaps good gaps good old nasty wheels this one here is fucking close i don't know not sure it's just another day in it it's just another day but damn she looks fucking good man can you see that oh yeah oh yeah right i really need to go now i've got some jobs to do see you later over and out bye morning all greg here at gdb rescue and recovery so i have got my seatbelt on because i've got seatbelts in this vehicle I'm not in my accident unit, not in the DAF and not in the Nissan Navara. I am in a three and a half ton tilt inside. So going out at the moment to a, why do I remember like a goldfish? What is it? I've got one after as an MGZR. The first one is, it's got the cap missing. What the fuck is it now? MGZR, I've got a Citroen DS3 to do for a tyre, the cat's missing, what do people rob cats off? I can't even think what I'm going out to, but oh no, it's a little, Honda Jazz, Honda Jazz, the pennies dropped, the Honda Jazz, so I'm going out to pick this up now, now unfortunately the bad news, uh, it's an elderly lady, uh, not that it makes any difference, but it's an elderly lady and she got up this morning, started her engine and oh it was roaring. Somebody's stolen her catalytic converter off her car. She's just apparently had a knee operation and whatnot. And you know, just gone out to a car and a cat's missing. So, but well, it's not missing, it's stolen, it's stolen. So, from what I've been told, apparently there's been a spree of burglaries last night in the Stafford, Penkridge and Stoke for catalytic converters. You can't really do much, to be honest, to prevent your cat from being stolen. <laughs> yeah, put a collar on it, not quite. If you anything, I'd advise, you know, get your vehicles behind gates if you have it home, lock your gates, or maybe still sometimes park half on a curb and half off so the cat's bang in the middle of that curb. It just makes it a little bit more awkward, to be honest. But hey, I've always said if somebody wants something, it'll go anyway, no matter how good your security is or how bad your security is. If somebody wants something, they will take it. Hence why, going back a couple of years, I had a recovery truck stolen. One of them things, shit happens. But moving forwards, all vehicles have got trackers, steering locks, um, and obviously behind lock gates, and shit hot security on my property. Is what it is. Um, yeah, just going out now in this job anyway in the transit. So hopefully you enjoy this video today. Just so much on the agenda, so much on the agenda. Right, see ya later. <sighs> Jesus. <coughs> oh, she just 
see me in the window. Oh, I wonder where they've jacked it up. No signs of jet marks. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus. Madness. Oh, there's a plastic trim clip there. Hello! Hi. Morning! Hi. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your bad news this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. madness. I'll just have that key off you on there. Have you got all your main personal belongings out of the vehicle, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phones, monies, laptops, any of that type of stuff? Oh, no, I've never seen anything like that. No, fair <laughs> enough. Oh, dear. I take it you had any. Uh, any... So that's us finally up and away with the Honda Jazz. Um, I've already ordered a new hydraulic pump off the last video. Got a call, have to pull over. Right. So as you can see, the Transit decided not to work soon as I had the customer car on. It's always the way, like. You'll never break down on the way to the job or after the job or whatever. It's always in the middle of the job. So look, hands are black now. Ugh. 
hope we've been a nice little clean day. Um, these things happen, the sensor test us. Can't put into words like, you know, if you're thinking of setting up in recovery, I am going to make that video very soon. I promise I will make it soon. But you've got to be prepared for all these little niggles and, and issues because trust me, it happens whether you've got a brand new truck or an old truck. Now, with me, I prefer the older equipment because it's easier to maintain, simpler, not as not as over-engineered and all the rest of the jazz. But um, I, I like to I like to keep things in good tip-top order. So a lot of you know I've recently bought this transit on the last video. I've already ordered the hydraulic pump off internet, you know, so I've already ordered it because I knew it did not look pretty and it did not sound great. So you know, some of you might say, oh, he keeps buying crap trucks. Well, I don't, you know, I used to own it as a good truck, but you have to spend maintenance. If you're using a vehicle day in, day out, hour after hour, you have to maintain your vehicles. And that's what I'm doing, because this is a good tool. Even though she just let me down, she's still a good tool. Next job is an MG ZR. I will be doing that in this. I'm not gonna go back and swap vehicles. I aren't scared. So we're gonna go do the MG ZR in Stafford also, get out to the garage. And after that, it will be a mobile tire job. And then I'm unemployed. There is no more work to do at the moment. Obviously I was out at crack of, do you call it crack of dawn, 3 a.m.? Don't know. But yeah, I was out at 3 a.m. this morning on a mobile tire job. But yeah, I was out at 3 a.m. this morning on a mobile tire job. Soon got that done and dusted. Yeah, that's it so far. Thanks for watching. I can see me job number three. She's on car park, so as you can see. Black Citroen DS3 in the distance. Working as quick as I can, y'all. Thanks to one of the followers when I could not get the winch to work. It's because you have to hold both buttons down for a couple of seconds and it turns it on. So yeah, nice one. Thanks for that. Brilliant. Right, let's get ourselves out of here and drop the key off to the garage up there. And we will go and get the MG ZR. See you later. Hi Craig. Hello, just on scene with this MG ZR. Do you know what the fault is with it? Just because it's on a bit of an angle on the drive when I don't know if I need to park on the grass to get it loaded or if I could just limp it out the drive. Um Craig, uh, Okay, so he's been driving it, haven't had any issues with it. Okay. And then you've got engine lights on. Okay. Or, um, yeah. Oil. Okay. And um, it just wouldn't start. Ah, it won't start, right, okay. Yes. No worries. Okay, I'll just park on the grass more than likely to get it out then. No All worries, right. thought I'd ask the question. Absolutely, always worth it. Cheers. Bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Bye, -bye. Bye.
is the MG ZR finally dropped off. BT06, the transit tilt and slide is off the road. Off the road. Reasons being, the earth on it is just playing up like nobody's business. I've only used it this morning as a bit of a trial run just to make sure that it needs changing and see if there's any other faults or teething bits of it. The, regards to the winch and bed's great, but the hydraulic pump is not good. I have already ordered it on eBay on the weekend, I think. Yeah, it would have been on Friday or the Saturday. I can't remember which day it is. I don't know what day it is now. Manic Monday. Um, so yeah, that'll be it hopefully in a day or two. And as soon as I've got it, I'll just need to order some new hydraulic fluid, which I've not got at the moment. Uh, but I can pick that up anywhere, to be honest, in town locally. Swap it over and she should be warm. She should be really good. Should be really good. So yeah, we're getting there. All we've got to do now is a roof beacon take the side markers off and all the wiring um, and the chevrons on the side of the bed and redo it and then I think we've got ourselves a good truck you like what you see like and subscribe just off in the transit Hi, mate. just pulling off in the transit tie van now uh, I ain't gonna video it I've got another job on now up Stoke on Trent in the big truck and I've still got the transit jumbo on the back so I'm gonna have to go to the garage drop it off and then go and pick up this van so can't record everything guys, time is money, money is time, but I'll see you soon, over now. So, we are now in the accident unit, taking the transit to RAV Autos in Stafford, that is where the new engine is getting delivered tomorrow. My goal is Saturday to be back on the road, all beacons blazing, on the hard shoulder, helping the customers, that is the aim of the game. <laughs> Um, next job is taking a car from Rich Food's garage up to Stoke and then I've also got another job to do whilst I'm up Stoke I'm picking up a big long wheelbase Citroen relay van and taking that back down to Stafford and that's currently it that I'm unemployed for now uh, there's been plenty of quotes gone out but you know I can't win every job and convert them all and I'm on my own today as well so here's what it is uh, moving forward though, a lot of you have been asking for some merchandise, I've had a lot of Facebook messages and YouTube comments. I might think of something soon, but not right now, I've got enough on the to-do list, but soon I will think of a little something, you know. Some people said jumpers, key rings, little air fresheners, you know, so yeah. If I can think of something that looks decent enough to wear, then yeah, okay, let's give it a go. Nothing to lose, something to gain, it keeps everybody happy. Right, gonna save the battery now. I wanna try and get at least a couple of snippets in if I can, um, but obviously it's very busy and it's hard to do all these things when I'm very time critical on what I'm doing as well. So, thanks for watching, and if you do like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe, and maybe drop a little cheeky comment below. Over and out. We are doing a little update on the Jeep now. Need to realign the back axle because it is a little bit out. I've also got these to help give a little bit more raise on the back end. And that will hopefully give us a little bit more clearance on the rear of the arches. Also got some new 
LED headlamps for the Jeep. So hopefully we'll get those on later. They look quite an easy install. <laughs> uh, moving forwards onto the transit tilting slide. Da, 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 da. So I know one of you commented about the isolator. Need the new one on. Well, I had two of these already, which were to go on the Nissan Navara because that has no isolators on any part of that vehicle. It's all permanently wired and live. So going to swap that on this transit today got the old hydraulic pump which is going to need a little bit of modification due to the couplings and we've obviously got the new hydraulic pump here a little bit smaller but hey it's brand new so it should probably have more power than the old one anyway obviously it does have a remote which is a little bit easier than using the levers to be honest so yeah hopefully be able to pipe it up to use the levers and on the remote control anyway um and yeah that's it so a few little things to crack on with if you like what you see please make sure to like and subscribe